This demo shows how to get started solving problems in a variety of application areas with the Neural Network Toolbox. The most important tool for getting started is nnstart, which can be launched from the command line. nnstart can also be launched from the MATLAB start menu. nnstart provides two panels. The first panel launches any of four GUIs for solving various problems where neural networks work well. Notice the links next to the launch buttons. The toolbox provides direct links to documentation throughout the GUIs and command line output. Let's take a quick look at the neural fitting tool. The first panel of this GUI shows a diagram of a fitting network and describes the kind of problems it is suitable for. The second panel allows us to select problem data from the MATLAB workspace or load an example data set into the workspace, which is what we will do here. For this quick demo, we will solve a simple fitting problem. Its description tells us that this problem consists of 67 input values with 67 associated target values. We would like to create a neural network that performs this input to output mapping with high accuracy and generalizes this relationship to new inputs. The next panel lets us divide this data up into training data, validation data, and test data. The first two sets are used for training and to indicate when training stops. The third set provides an independent test of the network. The network architecture panel lets us choose details of the particular network we will use to solve the problem. We can use the defaults. If we do not obtain a good solution, we can then return here and make changes. Now that we have created the network, we can train it. The neural network training tool shows details of training algorithms and status, including the network's accuracy, and provides useful plots. The performance plot shows how the network's mean square error drops rapidly as it learns. The blue line shows the decreasing error on the training data. The green line shows the validation error. Training stops when the validation error stops decreasing. The red line shows the error on the test data, indicating how well the network will generalize to new data. This plot shows how the network has fit the data. The horizontal axis is the input to the network. The vertical axis represents the targets with plus marks and the network outputs with dots. As you can see in the upper plot, the difference between them is very small. The small errors are also shown in the lower plot. The Evaluate Network panel allows the train network to be tested on additional data and provides tips for how to further improve the network if we want. The final panel lets us export our results to the MATLAB workspace. Perhaps more importantly, it provides a simple script that shows the command line code equivalent to using this tool. You can customize this script for your own applications. It also provides an advanced script that includes additional options for getting the most accurate solution possible. In addition to the fitting tool, nnstart provides a launch point for three other GUIs. The pattern recognition tool leads you through the process of solving pattern recognition and classification problems. The clustering tool solves problems of clustering, feature extraction, and data dimension reduction. The time series tool can solve dynamic modeling and prediction problems. nnstart's second panel provides links to other useful resources. For example, we can open the Neural Network Toolbox Guide in the MATLAB Doc Reader or view lists of demonstrations and datasets. Every dataset comes with example code for solving it and can be solved with one of the GUIs. There is a link to information on the Neural Network Design textbook. It provides an in-depth look at the mathematics behind neural algorithms and architectures. It has many interactive demos which are included with the toolbox. You can view other demos to learn about each of the toolbox GUIs in detail.